this is a lot of groceries. Hey friends, welcome back to my channel. We are starting maybe a new series here on my channel. What you're gonna see in this video is the entire month of groceries that we purchased. So if they are groceries that are for a YouTube recipe, I will have that recipe in a little box like I do up here on the screen, the name of the recipe, and you can also go to the description box and you can find the video that that recipe is in. Some of these things maybe we haven't made quite yet and will be coming up soon. I'm hoping that this is helpful. You guys can see what we buy each month as far as our groceries go and then what we make out of those groceries. Hey friends, it's April 1st. We just got back from Sam's Club, so I wanted to show you everything that we got. This was one of those grocery trips where you just run out of everything all at the same time, so this is a pretty hefty trip. There's a lot of things in here. I do wanna tell you though that when we logged into our Sam's Club account, we had $98 in Sam's Cash. So if you are not a Plus member and you're not earning Sam's Cash, you're missing out. We were able to apply that $98 toward this order. The subtotal was $230. $31.39, but we had $98 in Sam's cash. So it actually ended up being $132. I'm gonna tell you how much all the clothing and stuff is, but I am not going to be including that in our grocery total because it's not really grocery related. My son got these right here. He hasn't tried them on yet, but these are just uh, joggers and he loves these kind of pants. I do believe that these pants were on clearance for like six or seven dollars. So this is another thing that I got and I wasn't gonna get it originally because it did say it was $19.99, but when I scanned it, it was 15 something. This is a lounge set and I actually just got new pajamas, but I liked the fact that these are more summery, I guess maybe for spring. I loved this pattern. I just thought this is so bright and fun. Um, this was a tip from a couple of friends of mine here on YouTube. My friends, Jessica, Mandy, and Mackenzie, they all got these. They're everyday bike shorts. I'm not gonna wear these probably around like with a t-shirt. You probably won't ever see that. But the reason I got this is under dresses for the spring. If the wind is blowing or something like that, my friend Mandy was like, these are the perfect thing to wear under little dresses. I did size up because they do seem pretty tight and pretty small, but that's really the purpose in those. This is called a fashion hem tee, and I loved the hem on the bottom of this tee right here. So I'm gonna try that on in just a couple minutes. I also love the color. You guys know I love this color because I have, you know, everything I own in that color. Okay, my husband's taking jeans, so he's gonna try those on. Okay, this right here is another shirt, and I just thought it looked a little bit dressier just because of the sleeves. I don't know how I'm gonna feel about the sleeves yet, but again, I will try it on. I'll let you guys know how I feel about it. I did get a pair of these Gap shorts in medium. These are linen Gap shorts. I really liked this olive green color. They were, I think around $15 or so. All right, my husband just tried these jeans on that he got at Sam's and he has a couple of thoughts. He is definitely keeping them. These are Lucky Brand and they are Athletic Slim, as you can see here on the tag. These were $25. Okay, so the legs are not skinny by any means, but they're just a more slim style. So they, they actually looked really nice and he really liked these. I have recently been loving the shoes at Sam's Club. I got these pair, they're actually really dirty because I've been wearing them literally every single day. Um, these right here, I love the little print on the back and they're just per they're perfect with jeans, dresses, anything. So since I've been loving the shoes at Sam's Club, I did not buy new boots at all this year. I did not buy new winter shoes because we just really didn't need them for the places that we were going. But these just, I couldn't pass them up. They were on clearance, such a good deal. And I, I mean, I don't know how many times I'll wear them this year, but for next year, absolutely. So these are like a taupe sneaker kind of wedge, perfect for jeans, good for cute little dresses. I tried on the black pair, didn't really like the black pair as much, but I am not a big fan of black boots, honestly. I like, I prefer brown and taupe. This is Steve Madden. I am always pretty much a standard size seven or seven and a half ladies wedge, they're called a sneaker. We have been looking for a more hiking style of shoe. My husband's mom has a little mountain place. And so when we go up there and hike, we've all been wearing our regular tennis shoes, which don't walk very well on rocks and stuff and kind of slip and slide. So these I thought would be a really good option for that. Um, they've got really good tread on them. They're called Seeger Hiker. 
So if they have them at your Sam's Club, I wanted you to know what those are. All right, so now that we have spent 15 minutes in the clothing department, we can move over to the actual groceries. As you can see, we have the big thing of paper towels back there. Kids have been loving these go-go squeezes. There is a great convenience about them just being able to grab this and add it to their lunches. This is another thing that we've been getting. This is called pop chips. Um, I've tried the sea salt and I think they're pretty good. I do not like sour cream and onion chips and I really just don't care for barbecue chips. So that's really the only one that I will eat. I feel like we want something crunchy as a family, but I've really been evaluating the different types of oils that we consume. And there's just not a lot of chip options out there. So this is about the best thing that we can find at Sam's Club that, that almost everybody will enjoy. If you guys have been here for a while, you know this right here is a staple in our grocery haul every time we go to Sam's Club. My husband has these fruit smoothies with lunch almost every day. And then he picked up this right here. I think just knowing what our weekend was gonna look like, um, being able to throw one of these in the oven and not have to worry about dinner one night was gonna be convenient like probably tonight, <laughs> I'm thinking. We have been loving this cheese, you guys. And if you're not buying it at Sam's Club, you are missing out. This right here is $11. This is 1.75 pounds. It's such good cheese. We, you guys know we shred it up. If we don't shred the whole thing, we can freeze it and just like shred half at a time, but we use it all the time, you guys. We also got some more butter and this has eight sticks of butter in it, I think, right? No, six sticks of butter, but we, we like this butter too. It's a little bit more expensive, but for me, it's worth it because I just, I just think it's good. All right, I got some more sugar and this is the brand that I've really been enjoying from Sam's Club. The sugar is definitely a more coarse grain sugar. We also got another thing of maple syrup. We're almost out of that. My son requested more body armor and we always go with, for him, we go for the body armor light because there's only two sugars in it as opposed to 21 sugars in the regular body armor. And they're in body armor, there's no added color. So that's a big thing for us. These are the smaller ones too, I forgot to say that. So we get the 28 bottle pack that is only 12 ounces per bottle. There's another pack that I think is 20 bottles, but they're 16 ounce. So depending on what you're looking for there. We had run out of minced garlic and so I went ahead and got a huge thing of minced garlic. And at first I was like, I don't know if we need this, but we will use it. I mean, this doesn't expire until January of 2024. I'm pretty sure we will use that over the next two years. So I went ahead and just got that there. Most of our meat we've been getting at a farmer's market that is local to us. But the one thing that we have still been getting at Sam's Club is this organic grass-fed ground beef. So it comes in a three pack, which is really convenient because you can just cut them apart and put them in the freezer. And then another one, my husband actually just picked this one up yesterday. We love corned beef, you guys. Love, love, love it. And this was on reduced for quick sale. So it was 14 dollars and 94 cents so we're gonna cook that up in the crock pot at some point this week for sure you guys know we always get our eggs from sam's club or at least up to now we always get our eggs from sam's club we are hoping to have chickens soon um little story as i'm showing you the eggs our coop says it was delivered yesterday and then you guys know we live in north carolina and it says it was delivered to Georgia. So we're not really sure where the coop is. So for now, we are continuing to buy our eggs from Sam's Club. We got some more granola bars, fig bars. We got bananas, always need bananas. And then when those start to go bad, I've been making banana bread a lot lately. And then the last thing that we got at Sam's Club is this lemonade right here. And if you guys know, or maybe you don't know, we got a soda stream. It's been like maybe six months ago. And man, this has been the best thing. And we mix a little bit of that with some lemonade, sparkling lemonade or sparkling orange juice. It is so delicious. All right, so after that, we stopped by our local grocery store, which is called Harris Teeter. And we picked up just a couple of things. All right, after that, we stopped by Publix because it wasn't Harris Teeter. <laughs> this is the creamer that I've been using in my coffee. Grabbed another one of those. We picked up another one of the milk that we have been loving. Actually, we didn't pick up another one. We picked up another three of the milk <laughs> that we have been loving. My daughter has been loving rice pudding. And for some reason lately, Sam's Club has not had rice pudding. I don't know what's up with that. So we had to go buy that at Publix. My kids actually request hot dogs a lot for lunches, and this is one of those things where they can make it themselves. My son prefers turkey, and they did not have any of this brand, which we've really been liking in turkey. So I did get just this Oscar Mayer one for him this time. And then for my daughter, she likes beef, so we went ahead and got the beef. 
and the, it actually was buy two get one free. So we do have another pack, but we opened it already because they wanted that for lunch. I picked up two packs of this Homestyle Ranch. The uh, Sam's Club did not have the big ranch thing that you guys have seen before. So I went ahead and just got these because I have a couple of recipes coming up that I'm using this for, and then two things of buns. All right, so that is everything that we got in our order. Our total at Publix was $55.07. All right, you guys, here is that shirt that has the, what was it called? It's like the rough hem or, what does it say? It says something on it back here. I really like the shape of the shirt. I don't know that I love how high the actual slits come up though. I will try this on with an undershirt and see if I like it a little better. Also, this is a medium, very true to size. It's actually, it's really soft. Right, so this is that lounge set. This one is here to stay. It's really comfy. I mean, it's, it's a lightweight material for a sweatshirt, I guess you could call it, but with the shorts, perfect for spring. Definitely great for just kind of the days where you're hanging around the house. I mean, I guess you could go out in this too, right? I don't see why not, but I really like this one. I wasn't sure how I was gonna feel about the sleeves on this one. I love the hem at the bottom. True to size, it is incredibly soft. So, so soft. I don't think I like the sleeves. I don't know. They're just kind of there. <laughs> I don't know how to explain why it is that I don't like them, but I don't think I'm a fan of the sleeves. So I think this one might be going back. All right, here are those linen shorts that I showed you guys. They fit perfectly. I love the way that they fit. They are so comfortable. Pockets, yeah, these are here to stay. They're perfect for my lifestyle, exactly what I need. Throw on a pair of tennis shoes and a shirt that actually matches, not this one. But I love the fit of these. They are not too short, not too long. I think they're perfect. Here are the Steve Madden shoes. I think these are so cute. I'm gonna wear them today, actually, out to the baseball field. I don't know, that might be a bad idea, but. I'm not actually going on the baseball field, so we should be okay, but I think these are perfect. All right, you guys, today is April 5th, and I just did a super quick haul, um, but I needed to get some things for a video that I'm filming, so this was all, this was $28.94. So I got some green onions, some avocado, we picked up some cream cheese. This is gonna go in a couple different recipes that I have. We've been getting our sausage from a local farmer, but I needed it today so I could get this video filmed. It's a crescent dough video. If you haven't seen it, I'll have it linked right here so that you can see it. So I needed to go get this stuff so I could film it. I got some iceberg lettuce, shredded lettuce. That's just gonna make it really easy for me. And then some restaurant style salsa. We haven't tried this one from Harris Teeter and this one is medium. I also picked up one more thing of crescent rolls. I have two in the refrigerator for this video, but I think I needed one more. Some sharp cheddar cheese, Tillamook is so good. And so is Kerrygold, that one that we've been using and absolutely loving, but here's the thing. I shredded all of it and I need sliced. So I had to buy this so I could get sliced cheese. And then this is actually gonna be in place of sour cream for something that we're doing in the crescent roll video. So you guys know we use uh, Greek non-fat plain yogurt in place of sour cream. So just a little quick haul here, $28.94. Okay friends, today is April 7th and I am super late on grocery shopping this week, but with this order to cover us the rest of this week, for sure it is a Thursday. And then definitely the rest of next week. So this was not a super small order, not a huge order either. So let's walk through what we got. I am going to be making some air fryer banana chips. I'll have those listed in the description box in case you're interested in seeing those. I had to get some, some bananas that were a little less ripe than the ones that we have back here. Some cilantro for a recipe coming up. Some orange juice, this is actually just for us. We needed orange juice, so I picked up one of those. We ran out of cumin last night, and you guys know if you've been here for a while, we love cumin, so I needed to have that. Got some pretzels, this was an impulse buy. I've got some sh sliced almonds. This is going in a sides recipe, and I'm really excited about this one, so stay tuned. All right, let's move down here. We've got two things of bacon. I went ahead and got it because I feel like bacon's been a little bit hard to find lately. So one of them will go in the freezer and then one's actually going in a couple of different recipes that I have. I picked up some tortillas. I'm gonna be making some 
fish tacos for my lunches. So I got that. Some green beans, those are gonna go in a sides recipe. We've got some ranch mix and some brown gravy mix. These are going in recipes as well. This is going in a ranch recipe, stay tuned. We've got marshmallows, this is going in a special video. I've got some oats and honey granola. This is going with an air fryer recipe actually. Some Dijon mustard, this is going in a dressing that I'm gonna be making. Sweet potatoes, these have a couple different recipes actually, but we're gonna do something on the grill with those. Some pepperoncini peppers, this is going in a recipe as well. We've got some raspberries, my kids actually requested these, so we picked up some raspberries. These will probably be gone tonight, if I'm being totally honest. All right, we've got mozzarella cheese, we've got Parmesan cheese, and then this one just looked interesting to me, so I picked it up, I have no idea what it is. All right, we've got avocado, and this is partially for my lunches if I'm gonna do the fish tacos because you guys know I love avocado. And then the coleslaw is also for the fish tacos for lunches, so I have that ready to go. I've got some tomatoes, this is going to be for a side. Crescent rolls, this is for a video that is already posted by the time you're seeing this, so make sure you check out that video. Some cucumber, this is going in a side as well. And then some great northern beans. Normally I get the cans, but it's such a better deal to get them dried and I'll just have to remember to soak them the night before. All right, that is everything from my Aldi order and that total was $69.98. Then I did have to run by Publix because there's a few things that we weren't able to get at Aldi. This right here is all from Publix. I went ahead and picked up two more milks. We run through milk really fast in this house, y'all. So I went ahead and got two of them. This is going in an air fryer recipe. I needed vanilla bean or just vanilla ice cream. So that is gonna be so good. We're excited about that. My son requested some cottage cheese for lunches. So I picked that up for him. I needed some mint. That's going with the ice cream. And then I got two packs of boneless, skinless thighs, a couple different recipes call for this, and then one pack of boneless, skinless breasts. And this is, we have a recipe plan for this one as well. Lots of different stuff coming up. Pretty much everything that I got is going in a video this week. So stay tuned. The Publix order was $55.83. This is everything that we got for at least the next week and a half, potentially potentially two weeks with maybe a couple things added in. All right, friends, it is April 15th. We just got back from Sam's Club, so I'm gonna show you all the stuff that we got. My son did pick out this right here, which is a bathing suit and, what do you call these? Rash guard, sun shirt, I'm not sure. We call it like a SPF shirt, but um, it's got the bathing suit with it and then the SPF shirt with it, so that'll be great for the beach this season. I think this was right around $15. We did get two things of eggs like normal. We got some bananas. We've been making banana bread whenever the bananas get too ripe. So wanted to make sure that we have those on hand. Some of these right here, these little potatoes, perfect pair bite-sized potatoes. I'm gonna be making smashed potatoes to go with our Easter lunch. And I don't know if I've showed those yet. I can't remember, but if I haven't, they are coming up in a video soon. So stay tuned for that. Back here, there's a big thing of toilet paper. All right, this is brand new to us and my husband is actually cooking them up right now. So we'll taste it and let you guys know what we think. There's two packages, but as you can see, he's cooking up one of them. We have not seen these before. So that looked really interesting. No antibiotics, no hormones, fully cooked, signature blend, no nitrates, no nitrites. So you can see here, you're getting 12 in each package. And then the other package is over here getting cooked up. So we'll try those in just a minute and let you guys know what we think, but they're fully cooked, so you're really just reheating. Oh, yeah. We had these in our cart when we found the sausages that we um, that I just showed you, and these are good. We've had these plenty of times in the past. There's no nitrates and nitrites, which is a big deal for my son. Ingredients are pretty good in this one as well, but we just wanted to try out a different one and see if we like these better. They finally, it has been a while. Every time we've gone to Sam's Club, they've been out of these little rice puddings and my daughter loves these. So we went ahead and picked up two. I think they were in a different location. Oh, okay. So maybe they haven't been out of it. It seems like maybe they were in a location where we didn't know where they were. All right, we got a nice big corned beef brisket for Easter lunch. This is, I think, one of the largest ones we've got. So I'm probably gonna do this in the Instant Pot because the crock pot is just not gonna handle this thing, it's huge. We picked up another um, dishwashing liquid and then another thing of laundry detergent. This is our second time purchasing this laundry detergent and you know this is kinda new to us if you've been here for a while. We usually use the Members Mark brand 
but I'm pretty pleased with the ingredients that are in this one. We really like the smell of this one too. So this is my second one. And so you guys know if I repurchase, that usually means I like it. We also got these Outshine bars. You guys know my kids love these. This is not the first time that we've purchased these. And then for lunch on Easter, we bought a key lime pie. So that is everything in this Sam's Club order. Oh, actually there is one more thing. Right, my husband bought these right here. These are the Members Mark lounge shorts and he really likes them. He says the waistband is more comfortable than the, what is it, the Eddie Bauer ones? I think that was the other ones. Oh, and they have pockets. Deeper pockets. Deeper, Deeper pockets, my bad. Ones. All right, just giving you guys an update on these sausages. The flavor is good for sure. Um, I like I like that. But FYI, there's a lot of pepper. It like That's the flavor profile that you get on these. So if you love pepper, you're gonna love these. Um, we both agree, we're not sure we would buy them again. Just a heads up on that. Today is April 19th and I have a grocery haul to show you guys. Just went to Harris Teeter, which is like our local grocery store and got a few things. And the main reason that I went to Harris Teeter was for this right here. I'll show you that in just a second. A lot of this is actually for freezer meals that I'm gonna be making. We've got sourdough, and you guys know I normally make sourdough. As a matter of fact, I'm working on that right now here in this bowl, but I wanted to go ahead and get some because that one's not gonna be ready until tomorrow, and I'd really like to make this recipe today. So we've got some sourdough bread, and that's going in a freezer meal. I've got some white bread. This is actually going in an air fryer video, so stay tuned. That's gonna be for French toast roll-ups. I'm really excited about that. We are going to make some egg sandwiches with a little sheet pan thing that I figured out. That's going in a freezer mills video. This Parmesan cheese, normally you guys know I like to buy my Parmesan cheese in blocks, but they had no Parmesan cheese in blocks. So I had to get it like this. It's just grated. Extra sharp white cheddar cheese. This is going with the English muffins. I've got some parsley, and we pretty much always like to have parsley on hand for different recipes that require it or uh, garnish purposes and stuff like that. This is the creamer that I typically use in my coffee. And then I needed heavy cream for one of the freezer meals that's coming up as well. My husband requested more lunch meat and unfortunately they were just really slim pickings on their lunch meat. So I picked up this right here, oven roasted turkey breast. These chicken thighs are going in a freezer meal. We've got some ground beef. This is also going in a freezer meal. Got some carrots. Um, I eat carrots every single day, but this also is going in a freezer meal and we had run out of carrots, so I got that. This is going in a loaded potato salad recipe that is so good. This was the main reason that I actually went to Harris Teeter today and I picked up, it looks like a lot of flour, but we make a lot of sourdough in our house, so we go through a lot of flour, and it was on sale. Normally, this bag of flour right here is $9, and it was on sale for $6, so I went ahead and got a lot of it. So I've got three bags of the all-purpose. I picked up one bag, this was actually even more on sale. I think this was $4 for the bag, so I picked up one bag of whole wheat flour and then one bag of bread flour. And I use all of these in baking, but primarily I use this all purpose. All right, the total for this order was $92.09. This part right here made up about $30 of that order, and then the rest of it made up about $60. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope that you enjoyed. If you like this style of video, if you like seeing this type of grocery haul, please let me know in the comments. I wanna hear from you guys. Is this something that you want to see stick around? If you're new here, I would love if you'd subscribe and stick around, and I hope you're having a great week. Bye.